It's 91.9 WFPK Radio Louisville. I'm Kyle Meredith. I'm in a room packed with uh, Louisville Public Media members at this beautiful new listening room on Bardstown Road in the Highlands called the Monarch. First off, it is the, uh, it is the fall pledge drive, and I want to thank everyone who's called in this week, everyone who's donated this week, but I want to thank all the members in this room as well. Uh, please give yourselves a hand because uh, it's amazing support. Now, it's also Bourbon and Beyond weekend, and we've had some amazing artists already into town, some to come, and uh, one of them that's here right now. I am so honored and excited to have him back in town. He's going to play some songs. We're going to talk in a bit as well. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jason Isbell. Hey, folks. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here, um, and thanks for being members. Uh, that's a good thing. The public radio is a good thing. I think we'll talk more about that. Will we talk more about that later? We'll get into the details of public radio and uh, Bourbon Bath and Beyond Festival. I'll play a few songs. I'm the Beyond, by the way. I used to be booked on the Bourbon side of the festival. Now I am the Beyond. This is how you make yourself vanish into nothing. This is how you make yourself worthy of the love that she gave to you back when you didn't own a beautiful thing. And this is how you make yourself call your mother. This is how you make yourself closer to your brother. Remember him back when he was small enough to help you sing. You thought God was an architect Now you know He's something like a pipe bomb Ready to blow And everything you built That's all for show Goes up in flame In 24 frames This is how you see yourself floating on the ceiling. This is how you help her when her heart stops beating. What happened to the party that noticed every change in wind? And this is how you talk to her when no one else is listening. This is how you help her when the muse goes missing. You vanish so she can go drowning in a dream again. You thought God was an architect, now you know He's something like a pipe bomb ready to blow And everything you built that's all for show Goes up in flame In 24 frames You thought God was an architect, now you know He's sitting in a black car ready to go You made some new friends after the show But you'll forget their name In 24 frames Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is nice. This is a really nice place. Yeah, it's good. Is this your place? Beautiful. Good job. You've done a great job with the place. I thought when I came in here, I was like, is this Phoenix Hill? <laughs> no. Phoenix Hill, I guess, is now luxury apartments, but... You know, to me, Phoenix Hill was already a luxury apartment.
Used to be a ghost town, but even the ghost got out. And the sound of the highway died. There's ashes in a swimming pool. I saw you on your wedding night and I watched you sleeping in my arms Forgot to wash your makeup off And you woke up looking scared as hell My love won't change My love won't change My love won't change a thing You're never coming back to me You're never coming back at all and the way to make a young girl cry At the table next to mine tonight And I know you would have brought him to his knees All oh, but you're overseas Doesn't seem so long ago we thought that we could change their minds. We'd stay here and fight it out with a love that we could weaponize. But I saw you losing faith and I was watching when the light went out. You know what revolution means, and you know it's not an option now. Cause our love won't change, our love won't change, our love won't change a thing. And I couldn't leave my father here just to finish up his life alone. But I saw you in her daughter's eyes last night when she caught me in a lie. And I need you here to make both of us believe. But you're overseas Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jason Isbell here on 91.9 WFPK, a uh, members-only performance from The Monarch here on Bardstown Road. Which, uh, I should point out, uh, themonarchmac.com is the website. This beautiful new listing room. Again, I'm Kyle Meredith on 91.9 in a room full of members, and it's so great to see all of you all here. And especially thank you again for supporting WFBK. It is our uh, fall membership drive. And for you listening, these are the things that you can be a part of by becoming a member of public radio. 502-814-6565 is the number. WFBK. We can say it in our sleep, y'all. <laughs> and we do. Jason Isbell, welcome back to town. Thank you, Kyle. I'm happy to be here. This is an exciting edition of me visiting... Your city. Yeah. No, it's always exciting. It always is. Some more exciting than others. You know, I was at a show one time uh, watching another person perform, and uh, he stopped about four songs in to yell at his lighting director. That was not my favorite visit to Louisville. <laughs> <laughs> we don't hang out anymore, not because of that. <laughs> but I'm sure that didn't help. It didn't help. No, I didn't think it was cute. <laughs> It's great to have you. Uh, Jason's playing, of course, uh, Bourbon and Beyonds. 
yes. big old lineup this week. And uh, but it's really great to have you here, especially during the uh, the membership week and everything. Uh, Pledge drive. And I, I think you and I have talked about this before, but uh, you know, I first heard you on public radio. I was really excited uh, when I became a music director here, and I got to play you. Yeah, like that was even better. But I was excited about that too. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I get that excitement from you every single time we yeah. make that ad. It's I'm going to tell you, man, all the, I don't know, can we uh, uh, can we denigrate other types of radio while <laughs> requesting funds? No, we can't request funds. We can say maybe you would like to <laughs> donate. Perhaps. You can donate if, ads. Let's do it as a conditional. If you have decided on your own with no influence from any of us on the radio to <laughs> donate, then please do. Um, but, you know, some of those uh, commercial stations, they, they don't know what to do with people like me. They don't know what kind of music I make, you know, and they got these 10 songs they have to play over and over or apparently somebody comes and beats them up. Um, so I am I'm a big fan of public radio because they can play my music for one damn thing. And uh, I can say damn uh, for another thing. You sure can. And <laughs> but that's the only one. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the other six are no way. Uh, <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, it, it, I mean, that's what I listen to. You know, I listen, I listen to public radio, and, uh, and sometimes I hear my own music. Sometimes I hear my wife, Amanda Shires, her music. Sometimes <laughs> I hear, yes. Um, and, you know, they don't know what to do with us on those commercial stations. So I just appreciate you guys for, for finding a home and giving people uh, the word. When we do something, we put a record out, you guys play it. It makes me happy. Well, I think community is also a big part of it, and uh, learning that you're starting your own music festival. It's going to happen here at Shoals Fest, right? Yeah, in yeah. a few weeks. Hearing you talk about that, like doing it back in Muscle Shows to put back in the community. Yeah. I mean, what? There, there are, you know, there are a lot of ways to make money, but there are also a lot of ways to sleep well at night. And for me, at a certain point, when I when I got to the point where I don't really have to worry, are they going to come take my car away? Then I started thinking, maybe I need something other than just more personal, individual success. So I started thinking about the community and about the place where I grew up and about the fact that when I was a kid, you know, I was listening to music and, and learning how to play things on the guitar, and I was following my friends around to watch them play in bars and restaurants. And there were no venues down there and no out-of-town bands, no international bands that were coming through on tour. And so when it became possible for me to start a festival, I thought, well, I could start this somewhere where, you know, people would fly there as a destination and make it a, make it a, a vacation. I could do it in another country. I could do it somewhere where it's less expensive. Or I could do it at home and actually have sort of a, a, a reunion of my family and my friends and also the younger generation of musicians and then celebrate some of the older musicians from my hometown and that turned out to be a lot more rewarding for me than than just trying to do a job and get paid you know yeah. well it, it certainly ties into what we do here i mean it is yeah. about investing back in the community so and that's what we're so we're humans you know it, no matter how hard you try you're gonna run into somebody else at some point <laughs> um i've gone through long periods where i've avoided it and sure enough one day you walk out the front door and there's another human. They're everywhere. And you're reminded of how important it is to keep your community strong and to serve one another in some ways, you know. Yeah. We appreciate that. And uh and seriously all you do. I mean, when I talk about your music, the word authenticity comes up so much mm. and it's not just in the music that you do, but it's you know, it's in the lifestyle you lead, so it's that's always appreciated. Well, too. thank you, Kyle. I mean, it's uh you know, I, authenticity is always an accident uh so i can't take any credit for really truly being a redneck um <laughs> <laughs> but uh i will i find if the songs are good enough people people believe you're authentic at the very least and then you can dress however you want you know you know what if we're fooled we're fooled and i'll i'll be yeah. happy about that one yeah. too uh, you got the records, Reunions was such a good record a few years ago. I so enjoyed Georgia Blue. I know, um, you know, hopefully there's something on the horizon. But I also wanted to quickly ask, because you're also a movie star these days. I am not. Scorsese. I'm not. He's in a Scorsese movie. I am. Up. I am. I, I don't think they cut me out. Like, um, <laughs> as of yesterday, I was still in it. And, you know, the thing is, it was a long, I was in, I was in Oklahoma shooting this movie for about three months. And I was terrified. Uh, the first day, 
I got there. I was rehearsing with De Niro and DiCaprio, and I didn't. I, I had all my lines memorized, and I went to say them, and and it just came out like this because I, I was so scared the words would not come out of my mouth. And when I finished doing it the first time, this guy behind me patted me on the back. He was like, "That was perfect. That sounded so restrained and angry." <laughs> and <I was> like, <laughs> I see. I uh, have been uh, fooled into doing a good job by people who are much, much smarter than I am. And so it became obvious. You know, I've never seen a Scorsese movie and thought, this is great except for that one hillbilly. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> so I figured he wouldn't let me be that one hillbilly. Right. You know, he's not going to let me screw up his movie. So, uh, so I just went with it, and I had a really good time, and I learned a whole lot. How's Sturgill's acting in it? Sturgill's a pretty good actor, you know. He's got the accent, too. And I think that's the trick for people like me and Sturgill. Because there was a dialect coach on, on set. And uh, when he met with us, he's just like, oh, you guys just talk like you talk. <laughs> you <know? laughs> but he was with De Niro a lot. Like, uh -huh. <laughs> eh, we got to make you sound like you're from Oklahoma, sir. Yeah. yeah. We get to see that next year? Yeah, I think so. I think sometime around the spring of next year it'll be out. Yeah, it's going to be a good movie. Yeah, I believe it will. Yeah. All right, so I'm Kyle Meredith here on 91.9 talking with uh, Jason Isbell. Of course, he's playing Bourbon and Beyond. It is the fall membership drive again. I'll throw that number. You're listening right now, 502-814-6565, $15 a month or any amount at WFBK.org. And that's my spiel because I think everybody in this room would much rather listen to Jason. So I'm going to turn it back over. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Jason Isbell. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, sir. Walking around at night, fighting my appetite. Every kid in cutoffs could be you. Remember when we used to meet at the bottom of Mobile Street and do what the broken people do? Are you still taking notes? The Holy Ghost could get inside you. You do whatever you put your mind. Will you read me what you wrote When we were locked outside the building Over encouraged only children Cold coffee on the fire escape We bet it all on a demo tape And we still had something left to steal Remember when we took too much To get a little of the human touch Hand to mouth and reel to reel Are you still taking notes? Hydrocodone in your backpack Maybe these words will hold the beast back Will you read me what you wrote? The one I said you stole from Dylan Over-encouraged only children Heaven's wasted on the dead That's what your mama said When the hearse was idling in the parking lot She said you thought the world me And you were glad to see They finally let me be an astronaut Are you still taking notes? Do you have anyone to talk to? Castle walls that you can walk through. Do the dead believe in ghosts? Or are you lost in some old building?
building The over-encouraged only children Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The last, the last two songs that I played were off that album, Reunions, that we put out uh, in June of 2020. Was it 20 or 21? 20. Thank you. You guys are members for real. That's members only information. And, you know, of course, we were all stuck in the house. For those of us who were lucky enough to be in the house and not in the hospital or the morgue, we were stuck in the house and we uh, couldn't go out and tour. And, uh, you know, I thought, man, it probably would make sense to wait and put this out when we can go back to touring. But first of all, I didn't know when and if that was ever going to happen. And I also thought, you know, I've been sitting at home listening to records to keep myself from going insane. So maybe people need something new to listen to. So we just went ahead and put it out then. But a lot of these things now, when I go out and play these songs for people in person, it kind of feels like I'm, I'm on that tour, you know. I'm finally getting to go out and share those songs with people in the real world. So that's a very special thing for me to get to do. I didn't know if it was ever going to happen. So I live in Nashville, and you have to have a song about, like, trucks and football. <laughs> and this is my trucks and football song. <laughs> it's not exactly as danceable as some of the other hits about trucks and football, but there's trucks and football in it, I promise. She said it's none of my business, but it breaks my heart. Dropped a dozen cheap roses in my shopping cart Made it out to the truck without breaking down I guess everybody knows you in a speed trap town It's a Thursday night but there's a high school game I'll sneak a bottle up the bleachers and forget my name These 5A bastards run the shallow cross It's a boy's last dream and a man's first law And it never did occur to me to leave Till tonight when there's no one left to ask if I'm alright I'll sleep until I'm straight enough to drive and then decide if there's anything that can't be left behind the doctor said that he wouldn't make it a year The holidays are over and he's still here How long can they keep you in the ICU? I see the veins through the skin like a faded tattoo Real tough state trooper till a decade back When that girl who wasn't mama caused his heart attack he didn't care about us when he was walking around Just pulling women over in a speed trap town And it never did occur to me to leave Till tonight when I realized he'll never be I'll sign my name and say my last goodbye And then decide 
There ain't nothing here that can't be left behind. I slept a couple of hours in the pickup truck. I drank a cup of coffee by an Indian man. A thousand miles away from that speed trap town. A thousand miles away from that speed trap town. Thank you. What is that? Is that that's three? That's four songs, right? That was that three or four? So I get to do another one. Okay. You're right. You're right. <laughs> but I have to go gear up for the uh, Bourbon Bath and Beyond festival. <laughs> I used to. Uh, I used to drink a lot of alcohol. Um, and now I don't drink any alcohol. But uh, every time I came to Kentucky, it would, it would be terrible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not, not, you know, it's not y'all's fault. It's just that the, the, a lot of people who aren't raging alcoholics or from Kentucky don't realize this. <laughs> but, you know, as you guys know, Jack Daniels is not bourbon. That's not, no, it's not the same thing. That's Tennessee whiskey. It is. You know, bourbon is almost all of it is from Kentucky. I think there's only, maybe now there's two, but at, at the time when I was a raging alcoholic, there was only one place, really, uh, in West Virginia, was it, that was making bourbon? Yeah, that was it. And, you know, from what I recall, it was very similar. But I would I would get up here and I would think, you know, well, it's just the same color. Surely it's going to have the same effect. And it definitely did not have the same effect. <laughs> Thanks for listening to me. This has really been fun. I appreciate it. <laughs> and thanks, of course, to WFPK for supporting us all these years and taking good care of us. And, <laughs> and to members, and to members like you. <laughs> Always wanted to say that. Thank you to everybody. And to members like you. Thanks to the Jason Isbell and Jason Isbell Foundation. Support from the Jason Isbell Foundation and members like you.
we were vampires Death was a joke We'd go out on the sidewalk and smoke Laugh at all the lovers and their plans I wouldn't feel the need to hold your hand But maybe time running out is a gift I'll work hard till the end of my shift To give you every second Hope it isn't me who's left behind Knowing that this can't go on It's likely one of us will have to spend some days alone Maybe we'll get 40 years together And one day I'll be gone One day so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Isbell. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you again to everybody, all the members here. Thank you to uh, Mark and the Monarch, themonarchmac.com.